So now, if you're going to use a resistor to limit current through a red LED, you got 5 volts at the power, make sure the anode's more positive, cathode's more negative, or it won't conduct. Um, so in this case, the red LED is going to drop about 2 volts, and we want to keep current limited to below 20 milliamps of current for these indicator LEDs. So with a 220 ohm resistor, we'll have about 3 volts across it, setting the current through the circuit. And uh, so we'll have about 13.6 uh, milliamps of current. Make sure you do the math in amps. And the resistor won't get very hot right there. So covered that a lot in other videos. We're going to kind of rush through this. So this blue LED has a 1,000 ohm resistor that has 220 ohm resistor. So we probably have about four times as much current going through the red LED than the blue LED there. And there you can see it may not even be as bright yet. So uh, we kind of need a fair amount of current and uh, but uh, we can't exceed the 20 milliamps. So this is a uh, nice uh, middle ground right there. So now, if you want to light up a blue LED with 5 volts, make sure you put it in the right way. But in uh, any case, the uh, blue LED is going to drop about 3 volts. Now, it is possible to use 220 ohms, but I don't recommend it. Uh, we'll see why coming up. That'll leave about 2 volts across the 220 ohm resistor. And uh, we've got about 9.1 milliamps of current approximately going through it. There's the math. And the resistor won't get very warm at all. So mathematically, this isn't a bad way to go. So we're going to zoom over. This blue LED actually has 1,000 ohms of resistance right there a lot less current and uh, so I'm gonna pluck the red LED there you can see you know they were like similar levels of brightness right there uh, that blue LED is obnoxiously bright so I don't recommend um, the uh, 220 ohm resistor for the uh, blue LED but you may see it in like schematics or something again it's not uh, super bad or anything it's just not as useful in my opinion as a 1000 ohm resistor so now we come to the uh, blue LED right there that we're going to power with 5 volts. We're going to light it up. So I generally recommend a 1,000 ohm resistor for that. The blue LED, make sure you put it in the right way. It's going to have a forward voltage of about 3 volts. That means you're going to get a 3 volt drop out of that 5, given 2 volts across the 1,000 ohm resistor. Math is really easy. That's 2 milliamps of current. Make sure you do the math in current in uh, amps. But in uh, any case, wattage again. Resistor is not going to get very hot at all. This is a pretty efficient circuit right there. So that is a thousand ohm resistor right there. Limiting current through that blue LED. Um, red LEDs aren't as bright so I had to use a lower value uh, resistor there 220 to get you know somewhat close to the same brightness level right there as I mentioned before. So yeah blue LEDs are really nice for efficiency right there. A very low amount of current, a lot of light and uh, that's probably why you see so many on uh, devices. So now we are going to light a red LED with uh, 12 volts right there. So again, red LED is going to drop about 2 volts when you put it in the right way. Forward bias, anode more positive, cathode more negative. Make sure you do that. But in any case, we are going to use a somewhat high value resistor there, 1000 ohms. We're going to have about 10 volts because the red LED drops 2 volts across the resistor right there, giving us about 10 milliamps of current. You're going to see the resistor is getting fairly warm right there. So we want to stay below 0.125 watts, half of 0.25 watts because they're usually quarter watt resistors. And um, so, yeah, this is uh, getting, you know, quite warm. And uh, so, again, this is 12 volts across here, not 5. Be aware of that that's 1,000 ohms. That's 2,200 ohms right there. So we got a little bit, or a fair amount, less than half the current flowing through the blue LED. And uh, it's still brighter than the red LED. So um, we might want to use some ways to get more current through here. Topics for later videos. But again, this is okay as well. So now... If we're going to use a resistor to limit current through a blue LED, when we have a 12 volt supply, make sure the anode's more positive, the cathode more negative, then, um, you know, 2,200 ohm resistor might work out well, and I might even want to go a little bit higher in value. But in any case, blue LED is going to drop about 3 volts, leaving 9 volts across the 2,200 ohm resistor. We're going to get somewhere about uh, 4.1 milliamps of current flowing, and the resistor is not going to get uh, terribly warm at all. So um, let's talk about this. There you can see that uh, we actually have more than twice the current flowing through the red LED. Blue LED is uh, really bright right here. So even with just about four milliamps of current, if I pluck this resistor, that's a 1000 ohm resistor, 2200. And uh, so with this blue LED, now we're gonna get, uh, you know, about twice the current flowing through there. Um, you know, it's obnoxiously bright in my opinion right there. So 2200, maybe even 3000 ohms. I think would be uh, good for protecting the blue LED from 12 volts. 